Hey, 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 this is Perry L. Delph coming at you live from the Hustles Corner in New York City. In this seventh and final session with our esteemed guest, Tequila Fletcher of Tressaholic Beauty Supply, we discuss how the Asian community has studied and exploited a very powerful marketing tool within the Black community that they use against us on a regular basis. And that tool is called low self-esteem and the desperate need for validation. As always, if you enjoy the show, please show your love, smash that like button, share, don't forget to leave a comment, and most of all, subscribe. Thank you, and enjoy the show. You know I'm a hustler, hustler. You know I'm a hustler, hustler. Well, I'ma break it down one time. I'm the man, and I'm letting y'all know. Yeah, we getting that guap, that fitted them shits. Yeah, we stacking that dough. I said I'm a hustler, baby. You know I'm a hustler. You know, you know, you know I'm the man. I'm a hustler, baby. You know I'm a hustler. You, you, you know I'm the man. Self so I can mm. help that gap so people can really understand the industry in a whole you know because there are some very smart people but you know with the synthetic fibers it's not human hair so they it's just the technology on even how they even got into a place to where that they can produce this stuff is amazing to me but they use us they 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 use us the reason why they know how to do what they do is because of us. Mm -hmm. This is why we are so important to how they make their money. What do you mean they use That's us? How? They gotta use, listen. Well, do you understand that black women, some of us won't pay our light bill or our rent to go get our hair done? <laughs> is she money. right? Uh, yeah. In the market, <laughs> the nails done. Mm -hmm. Every night here on the market, we gonna buy clothes. We gonna buy. We spend the most money, and we I mean, are. So you know, I gotta, I gotta agree with you with that on one hundred and ten percent. Have you ever seen that show, Love and Hip Hop? Yes. Oh my God! <laughs> If that show is not the definition of a circus, I don't know what it is. In the most money, this is why they need us. They they need to know what's trending. This is why they pay them YouTubers. This is why it's called marketing and it's called cheap marketing. It's mm -hmm. called, okay, I'm gonna send this to such and such because she has 200,000, you know, followers or whatever the case may be i don't you know i haven't really done any deals with anyone like i've had companies reach out and send me free stuff in exchange for you know a testimonial or whatever the case may be this is this is who they use they mm -hmm. use them. some of us are willing to say, okay give me some pack of free hair and i'm gonna do the review but i'm gonna make y'all millions of dollars and y'all done gave me something that y'all made for two dollars See that is oh my goodness. That's good. That's good Wait, information. You know, I, that, see, I didn't even know that. Okay. <laughs> Some of them are not even getting paid. Uh -huh. They they free product. You come to me, baby. Listen, I know how much money you make. Cause you can go to Alibaba and I know those ain't accurate numbers, but you can see some of them like the average numbers, what they do for their for their um for their business so you can gauge and see you're not gonna send me no two dollar hell so y'all can turn around and make 20 million dollars off of me they 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 use us and they pimp us and we let them mm. and when i see shows like mm. well, let me ask you this i gotta ask you when, when i see shows like love and hip-hop do you sell green hair purple hair <laughs> <laughs> If they want it, it's going to be here. It's called supply and demand. So it's just yeah. one of them things that, you know, we are the reason why a lot of them stay in business. We are mm -hmm. the only, they ain't going to say the, the only reason why they stay in business. Who else going to buy the brain here? You, you, you don't see, you, you very seldom see a little white girl running around here with some, with some braids in her hair. Very few. Mm -hmm. But us, 
We are who body. And I'm, people, will it ever stop? I said, no, until they stop making them, we're going to stick and glue. I got some in my hair right now, so I know I can't talk. I hear you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but on you, it looks fantastic. No, thanks. Lip hop, it looks like a... <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you know, it just and, and it gets me how they exploit us and our I don't know if, if it's our low self-esteem and the way that we are in such constant need of validation, of self-validation or or, or or that we have to parade ourselves like that on on shows in which you know we're wearing 10 inch nails. We're wearing 12 inch pumps, you know, and sisters, you know, we're ha we're dressed half naked. Sisters sitting up there. But all of that is entertainment, Perry. That's all entertainment. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's sure entertainment. You know, the the women on those shows, they they agree to be there, you know, mm -hmm. and that's just you know who they are in the in the whole, and there's nothing wrong with it. You know, I do I do feel like it's just some some levels that you know they kind of take it to that kind of mm. mm -hmm. but i say you know amen <laughs> but as far as the industry the beauty industry you know i do feel like we, we sell ourselves short a lot when we're yeah. actually working deals with these people and so forth you know but that's like a whole nother topic as far as yeah. with the numbers and people actually do a lot of endorsements with these companies some of them have gotten a lot smarter and and, and demanding coins instead of product you know right. but, but the majority of them do pretty much working for pennies right right okay we've been going on now for two hours having this absolutely phenomenal conversation with you and i gotta admit i've learned a lot <laughs> oh yeah me too i i, I i'm speechless <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. I'm like, I didn't even know all of this. Oh, cool. Good, good. <laughs> so, you know, it just but. goes to show that there are not, that there are so many things that we need to learn and understand, mm -hmm. but there are so many hurdles that we have to overcome and mm -hmm. solidify ourselves within the market, within our own communities. Mm -hmm. right. And, right. <clears throat> but this is how it starts. It starts on forums like this and it starts on on with people like you who are willing to do the research who are willing to ask the questions who are willing mm -hmm. to do the homework to uncover the answers that our audience is interested in mm -hmm. with that said uh, <laughs> i gotta say i absolutely I, I i i i absolutely love this time with you is just yes fantastic. yes thank you so and, much oh thank you guys for having mm -hmm. me I all as well. <laughs> thank you, thank and you. We would like to invite you to come back to us in the future date so we can get. Oh, yeah, just you know, child, I got so much information. <laughs> just from <laughs> parents, oh God, I'd have been through it. So no, I I don't mind sharing myself, you know, especially if it's going to help somebody else. So please mm -hmm. don't hesitate. You got my information. Please reach out to me. I would love to chat with y'all again. Okay. Thank, thank you okay. so much. Now, the, we want to say that me and Jeanette have put together a new um, a platform that we will be implementing in which we'll be doing um, a live stream, which we'll doing have a panel. And per category, like for the black business movement, we might be talking about a particular industry, or we might be talking about a particular aspect of the industry, like marketing. And we would invite you to that panel in which we have oh. when I'm talking about that. Mm -hmm. Would you be willing to come to join us oh. in the discussion? Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, cool, cool. That's it. <laughs> I, I gotta say, this is Perry Delph coming at you live from the Hustle Court of New York City saying, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you, Lord, for this wonderful and distinguished guest who joined our show today, uh, Tequila Fletcher and yes. of Tressaholic. And yes. you can reach Tequila Fletcher, Tressaholic, uh, at your website, which is tressaholic.com. Am I correct? Um, well, our 
Uh, Beauty Supply website will be trustaholicbeautysupply.com, which is not actively live as of yet. We are still working out some kinks. But um, they can most definitely follow me on, um, we're on Facebook and we are on Instagram. My um, Facebook, you can find me, Tequila Fletcher. I'll be the big smiling girl with the white dress, long hair. That would be me. You can follow me there. Or you can also follow us um, at Trusta Holly Beauty Supply. On Facebook, um, Instagram, we are Tressaholic underscore beauty supply underscore salon. And my personal handle is Tressaholic underscore life. Okay. All right. Okay. This is Perel Duff coming at you live saying thank you so much for joining us. Looking forward to you being with us again. And as always, don't forget, if you like the show, hit that like button and give us a like and share our content. So we'll get the word out with this phenomenal information from this phenomenal sister. And always leave a comment to keep us growing and so that we can know exactly what to do to put up more great content. And don't forget to subscribe. This is Perry coming at you live from the Hustle's Corner. We just want to say to everybody, peace. Peace. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You understand? I see him on the gram while they flexing rubber bands. I'm working on my foreign exchanges out in Japan. Caught a million out in Philly, 50 grand in Michigan. Appearance in Atlanta, that's another 20 bands. Bring it back to the crib and invested in my daughter. Yeah, she only three months, but we're working on a brand new. This concludes this session of the Hustle's Corner New York City. If you are a person that's incarcerated and you have books that you'd like to get out and share your story, come share your story on the Hustle's Corner New York City Tales from the Dead series. If you are a person who has been wrongfully convicted of a crime that you did not commit and you want to share your story, come share your story on the Hustle's Corner New York City Victims of the System series. If you are a person who has been self-reformed, active in the community, came out of a past nefarious life to a more positive one and you want to share your story, come share your story on the Hustle's Corner New York City Legends of the Hood series. If you are a black business owner and you want to share your story of how you got your business off the ground and how you faced many challenges to succeed, come share your story on the Hustle's Corner New York City Black Business Movement series. If you are a musician or an artist or a vocalist or a rapper, hip hop artist, and you want to share your story about your career and how you have grown it into success, come share your story on the Hustle's Corner New York City on the grind series. And if you are a woman who has been through traumatic times in her life only to overcome them, come share your story on the Hustle's Corner New York City Lipstick Stories series. And if you're enjoying the show, please help us grow. Show your love. Like, share, leave a comment, and most of all, subscribe. Thank you for joining us. Looking forward to seeing you again. This is Perry Elder from the Hustle's Corner, New York City. Peace.